First base is the most slept on position in baseball, and to be honest, there's not much online helping you guys get better. The mid itself is a big deal, and there's no one really sharing any strategies or techniques. That's what we're for. Today, we're gonna be reviewing a bunch of mitts and putting the best one on ballgloveking.com. So we have four different mitts from three different companies. I'm also gonna show a budget option that's just dumb incredible. I love it. That'll be later in the video. Obviously, we wanna pick out what's the best mitt, but we're also gonna pay attention to sizing. What is the best size? This is just a huge lesson on first base mitts. So just to be clear, we have a 13 inch Marucci, 13 inch Rawlings, 12 and a half Wilson, 12 and a quarter Wilson. And honestly, the sizings are weird. Like the big one feels smaller than the smaller one, which I, I just don't get it. We'll talk about it. Also, I'm gonna teach you guys how to break one of these in in like 30 seconds. You're not gonna break it in in 30 seconds. I'm gonna teach you in 30 seconds. That's confusing. No matter what, the first thing you need to do is decide one hinge or two hinge. Once you've made your decision, you need to just work all of this in as much as possible, whether you're hitting the glove like this, just rubbing back and forth. You need to make this loose. Once it's loosened up enough, you'll be able to squeeze and catch the ball. Go play a ton of catch until your glove is broken. In. Boom. Was that 30 seconds? Way faster than 30 seconds. Talk about the deepness of the glove. Oh yeah, that's actually a good point. Josh actually just pointed out, you do want the glove to be super deep. So don't be afraid, break it in as much as you can. Super deep, you just wanna snag everything possible. It's a crucial position to just catch the ball. Marucci, the red inside, absolutely love that. Small detail, but mm. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, I'm going two hinges for most of these. Not this one though. This one is a one hinge. We'll talk about that. I also like to flare our thumb. So rather than the tips just kind of touching like that, don't make any weird jokes. When you flare it, it's like flush up against those fingers. It, it, much better. I like it a lot. Do what you want. I'm fun to do me. I did forget to mention, this is the Marucci Model 9. Once again, 13 inches. All black, white stitching, that red palm. Oh, it looks so good. Mm, ball started coming out. Just so you guys know, this is only going 65 right now. 65 MPH. Dude. There we go, that was solid. Hmm. Yeah, a few catches in. Like, pocket depth is not really there. It's, it's shallow. Like everything on the back of my hand and the palm, just squeezing it. It's thick, it feels thick. Yeah, I mean, it's coming along. The break in itself, this is helping a ton. I think I did a ton of mallet work. This seems to be more effective, so that's good. I'm noticing even when I'm catching them perfectly in the pocket, uh, I just don't really have like great feel for the ball, and it's still shallow. Like, it feels shallow, but I don't have a lot of feel. It's weird. We have the Wilson A2K 2820. This one's 12 and a quarter. I actually like the colorway on this one. That like brown, it's clean. Looks good. Feeling this glove before playing catch with it, not super high hopes, because it feels weird. I have to interrupt. I just found out that this is 250, or if you're lefty, even cheaper, on justgloves.com. You'll see how good this glove ends up doing. You have to keep that in consideration. That's wildly cheap. It's normally $400. Take a second and, and look at the thumb on this glove, dude. It. It looks goofy and it feels goofy, but I will say, catches feel good. Yeah, that's deep. Like that just like swallows it. Heck yeah, that feels great. Josh was just talking about like with a catcher's mitt, you can close like even, and then there's times where you're kind of closing like fingers down. Kind of a difference between like a one hinge and two hinge. It kind of does. I'm gonna try, it definitely feels like I'm folding over, but maybe it's me. So I'm gonna try to like go really even and stick this one. Nah, it's the fingers still go over. That's, that's cool. I feel so much different. I will point this out though, and this isn't exactly good. These laces are on the inside of the palm and they are like really thick and really rough and I can feel them constantly. Kind of makes me sound like a chump, but they're very obviously there and in the way. Um, the Marucci did not have that. Surprises are fun. This feels awesome. Let's finish it out. One more. Heck yeah. Totally fingers down, that's funny. This is the Wilson 1620, 12 and a half inches long. This glove feels really big. Also, it's an A2000, not an A2K. We got the super skin on the back. This glove just on the hand, super, super comfortable. No laces in the hand stall or anything. Super smooth, we got that finger pad. I'm like really skeptical though, cause there is no pocket on this thing. 
That felt terrible. That was just one though. That was the very first one. Back to back, really ugly. I put a lot of work into this thing because it just, it feels like it's not breaking in at all. Like I can close it, but there's just no depth. Oh my, pathetic dude. Super interesting pattern. Nope. That, that one felt like it did hit pocket originally, but uh, there's no room for it. So it's just like shooting back out of the glove. Goodness. So this is what's happening on like almost all of them. The ball's just kind of like hanging there. But just look at this glove. Look how shallow this is. This feels huge. It's just such a weird glove. Let's go two in the pinky. Nope. This Wilson is absolutely made to have two hinges. I mean, look at it here. That's a hinge and that's a hinge. That ends up looking like this. This glove, one hinge over there, but then see, no laces, no, no hinge over here. So that means we would want to close the glove a little bit more like this, but just, there's no freaking room for the ball. Now this is the Rawlings Pro DCT, 13 inches. It's absolutely a good looker. I'm wearing it traditional, just to be clear. You could break this one in like one in the pinky. No, nope, that's not what I meant to say. Meant to say, I said two things wrong. I meant to say you could break it in two hinge or one hinge, whereas our Wilsons were like, one was two hinge, one was one hinge. This one's like, you get to choose. I'm wearing a traditional. Right now I'm kind of going two hinges. We'll mess around with the one hinge in just a second. The fingers on this glove curve in a little bit more. This one's competing with the Wilson when it comes to like super great comfort plus depth. Feels wonderful when I'm actually catching the ball. I'm gonna go kind of fingers down with that one hinge style now. Dude, it could totally be broken in either way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It feels great. Two hinges felt great. One hinge felt great. This glove was also like noticeably easier to break in. Not just like how long it takes to mash it, but just took a really good form quickly. The way it comes is like user friendly. I've used that term before. So far the Pro DCT, very user friendly. I wasn't expecting to say it, but this was also user friendly as well. This 44 wasn't originally supposed to be in the video, but I've noticed that I actually really like this pattern. So we're gonna kind of fiddle with it here. I like this more than the flat Wilson. I might take it over the Marucci too. This is super deep. So it being smaller would make sense. Like I think they sacrificed surface area and made it really deep. Let's go one more. Kind of popped out a little bit, but yeah. I mean, I'm taking this over this right now for sure. All right, I'm gonna take the night to figure this out. Come back tomorrow. Nice, that was beautiful. All right, let's do a recap. Camera died. Do um, you want to just try filming this? Sure. The Wilson 1620 kind of sucks so far. It has no pocket whatsoever. This thing's flat, really comfortable on the hand. That's really the only positive. This Marucci here, model 39. It is 13 inches, it feels smaller, it feels a little bit clunky, it's like kind of tight on the hand, but you know, with a further break in, this is like a super average first basement so far. This was a total surprise. This feels terrible on your hand. It looks goofy, but when you play catch with it, it's actually really awesome. It's phenomenal. Really snap shut like a first basement should. And then the Rawlings Pro DCT. This is the one that, this feels like a first basement to me. This one here, 13 inches, it feels like what I would call 13 inches for a first basement. And I don't know, you guys, it's it's so far the most well-rounded glove. Right now, it's honestly down to these two. These two are noticeably more comfortable and easier to break in. The scoop test is how we're gonna decide what's actually 
number one. Every one of these gloves still has a shot because I mean, scooping is like ridiculously important. This is officially the budget first basement review. Let me show you this thing. The Mizuno Power Close GXF. This is, I believe 1275, but I don't even think it's labeled. It's a youth glove that fits my hand more than perfect. One of the things I love about it is it can fit a super young kid or an adult. So anyway, this thing is like, hands down my favorite budget first basement. Let me show you why. Why do you have a glove on your hand? Yeah, I don't know why, hang on. <laughs> I don't know why this is on my hand. So extraordinarily comfortable. Super, 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 capital S, super easy break in. It has this right here, but it makes an incredible difference. Just the close is so quick, so easy. If second base is like a secondary position for you, awesome option just to throw in the bag. If you're a dad, awesome option. If you're a youth player, incredible option. Now, if you play first and you're like in middle school, high school, and you're taking it seriously, don't get this. Try to get something better. But this glove is dumb for 80 bucks. It's awesome. I'm gonna show it to my brother. Maybe he'll help give you guys a better understanding of like why I like it so much. Take this, don't overthink it, just first thoughts. I mean, it feels like it's really cheap. <laughs> Is it the most comfortable glove you've ever worn? No. It does feel almost fake outside. Like the inside. Yeah. As a kid, I probably would have actually really liked it. You're the dad who's playing catch, just needs a glove for his son to play catch with. I don't know why you'd be getting first base, man. But, <laughs> I mean, I think it probably works for okay. $80. I don't know. Okay. I, I probably wouldn't. Know. You're wrong. But, it's officially the scoop test. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Marucci first. Our biggest takeaway, I mean, it, it sounds dumb, but this glove is super average. So I'm actually gonna go two in the pinky. It would kind of improve just the ability to scoop and pick, so. Okay, two in the pinky feels solid. I have like no feel for the ball. Um, go hoodie off. Kevin. Thanks for the shirt. Let's go a couple more traditional on this one. Caught it, but I looked bad. Traditional, it doesn't feel comfortable. It definitely feels like I'm just kind of squeezing the ball. All right, one more two in the pinky just to kind of see what we like. Um, I mean, I feel more confident two in the pinky just because it's deeper. But honestly, great takeaway. This is pretty expensive and it feels slightly lower quality than these do. But that was a great performance. And I mean, like I said, it's average and the scoop test made me like it even more. The Wilson 1620. You guys know how we feel about this thing. I am starting off traditional, so <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I caught it, I caught it. Zero pocket, zero stability. Like it just kind of like was between the finger and thumbs. Yeah, 100%. Every catch has been this. Let's go two in the pinky. Same result. Okay, this was a huge coincidence, but this just came in. So, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. This right here is this right here, but this one's actually super used. So it was broken in two in the pinky. And here's our problem. Josh, wanna be my cameraman? Hold it like this and just point it at me. Yeah. Okay, edit that out. Two in the pinky, super shallow pocket, but guess where a lace broke? right where you need to catch the ball. And look at this lace is super long. So he pulled it out probably because uh, they needed more of a pocket and then this ended up breaking. So anyway, it's just super weird because we we don't like this, right? And feeling a like very used and broken in one confirms it, I, I'd hate it. So anyway. Don't buy the 1620 unless you know this is what you want. You wanna do a ton of like break in time and you want it to be like very, very shallow. Wilson A2K 2820. I have high hopes for this thing. Feels goofy, for sure, but uh, our catch test was awesome. Super comfortable, like an amazing amount of snap. It just shuts the glove by itself. That was pathetic. That was my fault, I suck. Yeah, I can just hear the comments already about my form. Dude, 
This glove has like an incredible funnel. Like 90% of what I'm catching is just funneling straight into the same exact spot every time. Just to be clear, right there. This is where the ball just wants to go. Can't deny it's performance. Oh. It just, I did not catch that well. It funnels everything so perfectly into the pocket. Dang, dude. Let's go, Rawlings DCT. Ugh. New angle though. Did not catch that good at all, and it just funneled up straight into the pocket. I don't know how I could pick a favorite between these two. Let's go a few more. I am torn because both of these gloves feel amazing. This one is a super precise pocket that everything's going to. This one just has a very large pocket that everything kind of absorbs into but it's a much bigger area. Let's zoom camera out now. Five balls each from the pitching machine. Winner takes all. <laughs> this is scary. Starting with the Wilson. One for one, baby. No! Oh, that's, I mean, <clears throat> dang. Okay, one for two. Suck it, baby. Two for three. Freak. Yeah, baby. Three for four. I closed my eyes and I still caught it. Man, I'm choking. I'm getting nervous. Four for five. You're like the least clutch person. Yeah, right. I am anti-clutch. As soon as I know there's stakes, I immediately perform worse. Time for the DCT. Let's go. That was good baseball. One for one. <laughs> two for two. Just a side note. That was another one. I did not catch that well. I kind of hit up on the thumb and it just funneled right into that giant pocket. Three for three. Oh, how'd that bounce out? Wow, oh my gosh. It's gonna be a freaking tie. If I pick this, it's a tie. Oh my goodness, you've gotta be kidding me, dude. If I'm being honest, this was really fun. Like, I think I was having more fun with this. Part of that's definitely because this was like an underdog. Wasn't expecting this to play well. Again, once again, it's, this is a lobster. Mr. Krabs out here, he's not a lobster. Oh my gosh. Why is this the hardest decision I've ever had to make? Like I genuinely think right now, if I were to walk on a field, I'm, I'm actually gonna grab this, which is totally 0% of me expected that. But this glove is gonna be more universal to like the average player. I do firmly believe it. You can go two hinges, you can go one across like this. I wouldn't say the same about that glove. That is a two hinge glove, period. Although it kind of hurts, I do believe this is our number one first baseman outside of myself. For the vast majority of you guys out there, it's the safest bet for sure. Get this glove, it's gonna be freaking incredible. Don't, don't sleep on this. Wilson 2820, sleeper of the year possibly. I think this is the most I've been surprised by a glove in a very long time. So, oh also, we almost forgot. This was so bad. Thank you for watching. If you wanna learn how to not break in a baseball glove, this is your video right here. Had a ton of fun doing it. Couple gloves went in the microwave. Awesome video.